Greetings, welcome back to Pink Odd Bird. Today we're here to take a look at these two little books that I made, the last two that I'm making for probably for December um, before I start digging back into my custom orders that I have pending currently. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. Okay, they look very similar and they are slightly different but mostly similar. So I will show you one in more detail than the other and I'll flip through the other um, just to show you like any differences that there are. I thought these would be so fun and so cool to do. Um, kind of like a little concept idea that I had. So I'm really, really excited to bring these to you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and dig in. I'm going to just set eh, one of them aside. I'll figure out a way to differentiate um, what they're called and how, how they'll be listed in my Etsy shop. That way, if you want a specific one, you know which one to pick. So... <laughs> Um, and I'll probably put the names here on the screen for you. All right, so the books are about nine by e six and the spines three inches. <clears throat> this is how the cover fabric is. Sparkly, wintry, pretty black fabric. It's kind of like a velvet. And on the cover here, we have what I'm calling a rendition of Mr. Grinch. Obviously, for copyright reasons, we can't use the real Mr. Grinch. So <laughs> um, these books are going to be based loosely around Mr. Grinch. Um, they're not too Christmassy, but they're also not too like gothic-y. Somewhere right in between. So I'm really excited to share these with you guys. They do have these bookmarks if you're wondering what the sound is. <laughs> I just tied um, the little um, string to the sorry silk bookmark and it's these old vintage brass bells so really really cute and on the cover itself um, it's this image and then I just kind of like distressed it in different areas so that he has like a green tone to his skin and you know he's got a little red scarf on and his hat so that's the cover and then on the profile got lots of fun things here some really pretty uh, pom-poms there are four little charms that I made. And then this one goes to uh, an element that's in the book. And then, of course, just some other textiles. Really pretty. Sorry, it's a rainy day here, which pff, mark the last time and the next time that I'll ever say that. Because <laughs> it hardly rains in California. But, uh, you know, I'm happy for it. But the lighting is a little bit weird. So... Bear with me. It is four signatures and it is hollow back spine. So this book is going to lay completely flat, which I always love because it's easier when you're trying to do stuff in the book and you can just lay it flat. So I'm going to just get started flipping through. I used primarily uh, two digital kits and I will link them in the description box below. If you're interested, you can check those out. And uh, also, all of the papers that are in here, I hand dyed myself, and they are the original papers, so that's another thing. And then um, these book pages are the, our music pages are antique music pages. And then this, like, this is an image from one of the kits that I used. I love how the dyeing comes out on these pages, so, so good. This one here is a pocket. So you can tuck something in there. I try not to fill every aspect of this book just because I don't want to get too full. Some some uh, shiny paper that I embossed. This one's really cool. It comes out of my personal collection. So this is a copy. But it's a little typed up Christmas letter. <laughs> and then they hand wrote a note at the bottom also. So... I'm not going to obviously read the whole thing, but it's from December of 1981. So that'll be a fun little piece um, for you to read through. These tags, I just distressed them with some inks. And these are from uh, Release the Crafton's kit. Fabric. So obviously we all know the story and the song of Mr. Grinch, but I tried to include like special little elements <laughs> uh, that are like that pertain to Mr. Grinch. So they say that his heart is a black hole. So I just um, kind of fashioned this little heart and I use some of this metallic paper and then the music notes underneath because obviously it's a song also. 
and then vintage mu antique music paper on the back. More hand dyed pages. They say he's as cuddly as a cactus. These are some fabric envelopes that I made to go in the book. They are empty, but they're nice, thick and sturdy envelopes. So if you want to add something in there, as you do with envelopes, <laughs> little pocket there. Uh, these images are from my personal uh, antique photos. So that's a copy. Melinda tag. These are those antique Bible pages from the like 1800s. So here it's this little um, window that I made and it's <laughs> It's like a little acetate window, and that's what this uh, bead is for here. Although this bead kind of weighs it down a little, so you might want to maybe paper clip it so that it stays. Maybe maybe I'll add a paper clip so that'll stay in place there, because it kind of weighs it down a little. But it, oops, one of my charms popped off. <clears throat> but uh, this is like from in the movie where they're doing the X-ray on his heart, and it's like so small, but. <laughs> I just thought that was a fun, cute little element. And then these little reindeers on the page remind me of when he did his dog up as a, as a reindeer. And here I just wrote, you're a mean one. And then it just opens so you can add something else behind there. So that's where my paper clip goes. little gingerbread <clears throat> plenty of writing space obviously um, people usually like to do a lot of memory keeping in December so and obviously I, I try not to also make it too Christmassy so that you can use it beyond December it's a jumbo tag backed with a green paper So the little deer here, I felt like maybe he was using this as his inspiration, maybe one of Santa's reindeer. And then this is what I'm going to call his dog. <laughs> so, you know, he's obviously going to get the idea to dress his dog up as a reindeer. I thought maybe this could be like him when he was a, a kid. Obviously, maybe he used to love Christmas and he had a puppy back then too. is another pocket in the song they say he's a, a bad uh, or he's a greasy black banana peel so <laughs> this banana peel was actually like stark yellow kind of like how th this yellow is over here so I just distressed it and aged it to make it look like a greasy black banana peel <laughs> uh, so yeah I thought that was kind of funny He's got a little sewing kit here for when he starts to make his Santa Claus outfit. Little fireplace. This is just a um, sewing pattern envelope. Obviously because he's going to be sewing. So here is just a little tag. And then I have this uh, fringe on here. You can write on the back and you can just swivel the heart to write something else. It's a little snowflake. It's a tag. A 
What I liked about these kits is that they were dark, but they weren't like too like, you know, over to the other edge that completely takes you out of like winter or Christmas. So I thought that was kind of cool. So just a little heart tag here. Jumbo tag. <laughs> in the song they say that his brain is filled with spiders it's a shaker it's a little tight but it's a shaker and so it's a brain that's got a bunch of little spiders <laughs> uh, yeah obviously I had fun with this one just some little nuances in here just to keep it kind of fun you know it's a little envelope that I made using my dyed paper. There's collage there. There's another copy of a photo from my personal collection. And then on this side, you can obviously write in here or you can seal it up and use it as an actual envelope to store as you do with envelopes. <laughs> oh gosh. I love how these dyed pages, like sometimes it's hard to pick up on camera, but when you see it in person, it's like, whoa some ephemera in here and we've got the man himself back here the one that the Grinch probably envies a little bit green with envy so that's the first one the second one is very similar so we have the same image the same cover fabric. I had two of these bells, coincidentally. Those are little charms on the side. Same size. So here we go. This one has a lot of pockets that go this way. So this one, there's your cactus. Cuddly as a cactus. <laughs> Lots of places where you can glue your own photos down over. So here's a little picture of a, a man with his reindeer dog. <laughs> so in this one, uh, and the song it says <laughs> his soul his soul is filled with garlic so this is a little garlic shaker but I thought it would be kind of fun to add like the little Christmas <laughs> um, sequins in there for the sequence for the Christmas cheer that that's really buried inside of him secretly so that's a little flip out we got Santa Claus Oops. pocket here there's the little this one stays in much better for some reason there's this black heart <laughs> holy black heart this little envelope that I collaged so as you can see, very similar, very, very similar. Some different images, not every image is the same. There's a sewing machine for when he starts sewing his Santa suit. There's the reindeer. Some tags. A little tag in here. So, also in the song, they say he's as charming as an eel. So, there's your charming eel, which I also did distress. Some more ephemera there. It's another Hermelinda tag. 
And then this is just an, the same tag, but I just tucked it in sideways here in this pocket. And then there's your uh, sewing pattern envelope there. washi tape there oh these here are top loading pockets sorry so there's also a top loading pocket here which has the 1981 Christmas letter so that's where that's at for this book And here I wrote, you're a mean one. There's your envelope. Last tag. And that's it. So, that's the second. This is the first. They're both going to be available in my Etsy shop and they'll be there until they're not. So I hope you guys enjoyed these and, uh, you know, something a little bit different, but still pretty mellow and tame, I think. <laughs> I'm happy I was able to get a little something in uh, that's been on my mind for the month of December. And now I'm going to start digging into my custom orders because I got to get those powered out. Um, and then some of you guys have been asking asking me about my custom order slots for next year. I haven't released those yet. They probably won't be released until next year, actually, um, which is fine. Um, but I will definitely announce when the custom order slots will open up again for you guys. And uh, if you're interested, then you can just uh, reserve a spot. I think that's probably it. Oh, and I did say I wanted to have a vintage book sale, so I'll probably do that sometime soon also. Yes. And um, yeah, so if you guys enjoy these books, please leave a comment down below. Let me know. And uh, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Is it a cartoon movie or is it a movie with uh, people like actual humans in it? You know, we all have our favorites and I feel like a, lo a lot of us share, you know, favorite common uh, movies, but it's always fun when you find those obscure ones. So <laughs> share your favorite movies down in the comments below with each other. And I think that is going to wrap it up for me for now. Be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into. And until next time, toodaloo.